When you plant a tree in the environment, you're in a long-term production cycle. So it could be 50 or 100 years until you harvest that tree. And once you've decided what you want, it's then vital that the plant that you put in the forest is exactly what you think you've ordered. So having a good certification scheme gives everybody confidence in the whole production cycle, right from the collecting of the seed through to the planting of the tree in the forest. To have a sort of a common international standards for, for certifying forest seed and plants, it's hugely uh, important. At the moment, deforestation has continued, but we still have some 30% of the global land area is forest. And of this amount, we have currently 7% is the planted forest. In the past decades, this trend has increased, and I think it's continued to increase that uh, globally we are, we are planting more, more forest and more trees. So the demand is there for having access to the uh, certified planting material globally. Since 1967, the OECD has encouraged the production and use of forest tree seeds and plants in a manner that ensures their trueness to name. By creating a common language, we facilitate trade. But more importantly, we help ensure that the seeds and saplings planted by foresters are actually the ones they intended to use. Today, the OECD scheme covers more than 400 tree species from both temperate and tropical regions in 27 countries worldwide. As a global certification body, our work affects the purchase and planting of billions of seeds and trees each year. In the future, as climate changes, foresters will be looking for new materials, trees which are better adapted to changing temperatures and more resistant to new forestry conditions. Well, climate change will impose the forest sector for the kind of a double challenges. One is that the material you're planting today have to survive the current climatic conditions. But at the same time, it also has to cope with the conditions you expect in 50 years' time. Well, unfortunately, we already start to see the impact of climate change because the Seeds which are now being collected from the trees can no longer be used in the region where the original trees were planted. We also see new emerging diseases that were not existing before and that cause a lot of damage to forests. It is very important to have these certification systems in place because you can select for forest reproductive material that is better adapted to the changing climatic conditions and more resistant to the new emerging diseases. Yeah, the ash trees are important, but uh, very recently they uh, have been infected by a disease that uh, is a fungus that arrived from Asia. The fungus infects through the leaves and then uh, it goes into the twigs and branches and uh, the young trees are being heavily infected and most of the young trees actually die. The old trees, many of the old trees also die, a, a fraction of the trees, maybe 5-10% seems to have a very high level of tolerance that there are some trees that not only are trees not only are they healthy but they can also pass on this uh, feature to the offspring and then then that's where we start to see okay maybe maybe the solution would be to make better seed sources seed sources based on trees which have high tolerance. Forest tree breeding is all about finding good trees and make good seed sources and then commercializing them. Here the issue is actually making healthy trees rather than making straight trees or making trees which have uh, fast growing. The international demand for certified material is going to increase. Many countries have made rather huge pledges uh, to restore forests. And if you look at how we translate these into the actual tree planting uh, activities and producing seedlings for these purposes, I think this is going to be a huge increase in demand for the uh, certified forest reproductive material. The OECD is increasingly working with developing countries in Africa on certification programs for forest reproductive material. It is not only about reducing technical barriers to trade or helping them enter new markets or reap the benefits of globalization. The use of certified materials will be an essential element of these countries' effort to adapt to climate change and grow healthier and more productive forests for future generations.